Good evening, good morning, wherever you are, good afternoon, wherever you are. So we'll do another uh, series for React Native Animation and in this series we'll cover how to do interpolate or what interpolation and we'll also learn what is interpolation. The first thing for learning interpolation is that you have to know interpolation in general is a relationship between input and output. So input is given something like 0 to 1 range and output is maybe from 0 to 500 or whatever the value you define. Okay, so well as we do more in the coding, I'll explain more what is interpolation. So well, but let's define what we want to do in our in our uh, tutorial today. Of course we want to do interpolate, but what is the end result? So what I want in this tutorial is that once I click on the press button, the animation would start and uh, my view, this fading view from opacity zero to, it'll start from opacity zero and slowly it will reach to opacity one. And at the same time, we'll moving up in our X axis. So that's what we want to do. Once again, we'll start, as I click on the button, my view would show up from opacity 0 to opacity 1 and that will happen slowly using this function over here which we already did in our previous tutorial and at the same time as it moves to goes to opacity 1 my view will go up slowly that's what we want to do and for this reason we'll use interpolate function in animated view component so let's do it how to do that so to use interpolate or oh, sorry I mean to move up and down in our uh, x-axis or y-axis we have to use a property it's called transform in the react animation and it takes bunch of it takes array of object so while well, object could be translate x translate y and rotate and we'll cover all of them in this tutorial okay so you have to know that the default axis in our case is y-axis this one so you want to move up and down well actually up in y-axis so as we go ahead we'll interpolate values from the given value of fade anim okay now let's see how to do it so it's area of object as i see so the first property for transform object is transit y or transit x whatever you want i would do transit y and well now it takes a given value and on this given value it interpolates interpolate is a function and again it takes two arrays one is input or I would say two objects actually uh, input range and which it could be from any range in our case we define it from 0 to 1 and output range from 0 to minus say 300 that's what I would do well, it doesn't matter okay now what the hell is going on here let's take a closer look at this thing well now we'll interpolate on the declared variable fade anim and which starts from 0 this 0 all right and we also said that we reach the value to 1 in this case we also define it as a 1 so our input range so this is a value of range like from 0 to 1 and in between there are a lot of other values actually millions of values are unlimited number of values and to those values we correspond output range so 0 to minus 300 of course you could do plus 300 but for my in my animation I'll do minus 300 because I want to go up in y-axis all right so it more in this case it works more like a linear function if you know what is function in mathematics I guess it doesn't work like this I mean, react native so function what I'm trying to say it's more like y equal fx so all right so y function y is defined somewhere in your code I mean well in, not really in our code I'm trying to give you the idea x could be say y could be minus 300x so y is the function y is the function of x all right so in our case so let's see what if we if we because I told you that this is a range so it could be I can pick anything from 0 to 1 including 0 and 1 so first if I get so if I have 0 like if I input 0 here 
x equals 0, then what do we get for y? y equals 0, 2, right? So now if I get, say, 0 0.5, and what do we get for y? 0 0.5, we get 1 minus 150 for y, right? So it, it works like that. Of course, you can take in, in any values in between. I think that's fine. Okay, so like zero, now if you get 1 for y, you'd get minus 300. So what I'm trying to set, tell you that interpolate actually creates a relationship between input and output range. And this relationship works exactly as a function like this. Well, it is linear. It doesn't have to be linear. But in my case, I'm use a, using a linear relationship. So uh, the thing you have to understand is that uh, if you're given input, value or input range it creates output value based on your output range and at the end in our animation we use the output range for certain properties in this case we will use this output range or values for transit y which I'm trying to say for y axis over here okay of course I don't need this thing uh, I think we get the idea what is uh, interpolate. Again, interpolate is a relationship between input and output range. So if you're given input range, it creates output values based on output range. That's all is interpolate. It, the relation could be linear or non-linear. Anyway, so now let's save our function and let's save, sorry, let's save our code and see what happens. Of course, uh, this is the view updated, but not the whole code. So I'll reload the my Metro Bundler and see what happens. So well, it's taking a bit of time. Okay, now well, of course the view is not visible because our uh, default value for fading is zero, which means opacity is zero. Once I click on the button, the trans animation st will start based on this function over here. So, and the input range at the same time when it starts the animation is zero. And as animation goes, uh, the input range increases from zero to one and output range increases as well. Let's see. Here we go. So it's going up, right? So when it's 300, minus 300, opposite has been one, output range has been one, and there are a lot of values in between here. We don't need to tell React Native. React Native can figure it out on its own. So that was a translation on Y X axis. So of course, we can do the same for Y axis. So I'll just copy paste and uh, put it here instead of Y. I'll write here X. So now let's save it and uh, reload so that we can see the whole animation. So in this case, we'll say it translating both X and Y axis. And of course, it might not be the best animation. What else we can do? We can also rotate. Mm, it'll, uh, actually, I can just copy paste and change translate Y to rotate. All right, now reload one more time. So in this case, we'll say it's going up, it's also going to the x direction at the same time my view is rotating but of course uh, in this case I'll get error error so it's a, it's a, it takes a string for rotation the output range not numbers though 360 dag all right let's save it one more time and load the metro bundler okay all right let's press and you see it's going up, going to the x direction. At the same time, it's rotating. Of course, I don't like it goes to x direction. It looks a bit weird. So I'll remove it. So I'll just keep it. Uh, it'll translate to y axis and rotate at the same time. Let's reload it one more time. And uh, this time, it would look a bit more cooler. As you see, it's going up and rotating Of course. In our next tutorial, we'll change this animation to image and we'll see how to do fade image and moving image, things like that. So anyway, guys, if you liked and if you learned something from this video, please give me a like and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you so much.